get the bread. A lot of folks lately say they don't like going to the grocery store anymore with this whole COVID virus. They think the store feels dirty, disgusting, they're around a lot of people, they don't know where their meat's coming from, where their veggies are coming from, who's been squeezing their vegetables, who's been plucking through it. Typically this time of day on Saturday morning we would be heading to the Tomball Farmer's Market. One of the best farmer's markets I've ever been to. They have meat, produce, pork rinds, coffee, barbecue, all sorts of stuff. So we would typically go there to load up on produce. We'd get fresh lettuce, tomatoes. There's an Indian stand my wife, who is with me right now, is quite fond of, but she hasn't been to her hairdresser in some time, so <laughs> she doesn't like the camera on her right now. Also, the angle I have my tripod is from the bottom up. Girls say that's like the huge no-no. You always take pictures from the top down, so whatever. Tomball Farmer's Market is closed, so we're not gonna go there, so we're making do. First stop is to go to the bread makers we love so much, Bakers by Heart. These grandmas that make this bread, they're amazing. They make the best breads. They don't just go to Costco and get the cheap flour. They use, don't they use? Uh, freshly ancient, milled ancient grains. Freshly milled ancient grains. You can't get any better than that, folks, right? And the next stop we are going to is uh, a normal stop for us on a weekly basis, Victoria's Natural Market. So there we're gonna go see our friend Bammy and we're gonna pick out some, she has everything. Produce, meat, chicken, lamb, pork, raw milk, eggs. Olives. Amazing pasta. The pasta she get is, is, the pasta she gets is from Italy. The pasta she gets is imported from Italy. <laughs> and, <laughs> and. Trying to record over here. And <laughs> director off the camera. So we'll show you all that here in a minute. So to sum up, you know, on a typical Saturday morning, we'd go to Tom Bar Market, we would go to Victoria's, and then if we needed anything else, like paper towels, toilet paper, tahini, chips, we order from Thrive Market. Thrive Market's a pretty legit uh, online marketplace and have it delivered to your house. So with this quarantine thing, uh, it's been working out very well for us. After Victoria's Market, uh, the next thing we would do is go home and look at everything we have. Wait, you forgot to tell him that I make an Instagram pic of my home. Steph, <laughs> that's, that's for your video. After Victoria's, then we go home and Steph will set out everything on the table. And she'll take a picture of it and say, oh, look at me, I'm a social media expert and I <laughs> shop at farmer's markets and some like that. We take all our loot home, we put it on the table, see what we have, and then we meal plan for the week. We pull out a protein and a veggie and we say, what are we gonna make with this? And for every day of the week, we'll plan something. Then we're pretty good at sticking to the meal plan for the entire week. We cook every night. And I, I think that's something that a lot of people miss. Family time, together time, I think it's very important. Still, every single night when dinner's ready, we call the kids down and we have dinner together at the table. And that's like the only 30 minutes you get to hang out with your kids every day. That seriously is like the only time we get to see <laughs> the kids now. So that's pretty cool, because it does keep the kids grounded. Dose! <laughs> Another meat option we do is we have a subscription to a co-op called Jolie View Farms. They are a- So legit. I, I love this farm. They, they raise everything on their own property. They even raise their pigs and they grow organic vegetables to feed their pigs. I mean, this is legit. Not only that, they're all into the sustainable farming practices. So they uh, practice regenerative regenerative soil restoration and everything that everybody should be doing, they do and they do it right. So on every third Saturday, 
Uh, they drop a cooler off to our house. They're real big on using the entire animals. Some of these weird cuts of meat that you're not used to are some of the most decadent, delicious cuts of meat out there, especially when you start using this. A Dutch oven is going to be your best friend. You got to get a Dutch oven because you want to cook a lot of these meats uh, low and slow. If you throw anything in a Dutch oven for three hours, it's going to be tender. I promise you that. Now, listen, listen to me now. This is very important. Put that Instapot away. It's a piece of garbage. Take it, put it in your garbage can. Throw that we do have one minute why don't we hit the phones and take a caller hey you're on the air who's this cools and splatter back again all right you got something for us how have you been yeah got a new song okay let's hear it half the border to mexico we're on a sign to guide then he hands me donkey and says get on up and ride i'm gonna ride gonna ride gonna ride my donkey gonna ride hey that's actually a good song I like that. All right, well, thanks for calling in again and we'll catch you next time. We got some veggies, fresh produce, some bread, olive oil, yogurt, pan sausage, eggs, and some protein for the week. All right, peace out. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe. If you wanna see the meal planning video, click this thing right there. Pick this up unbox it. Pork cracklings. Whole cane sugar. My favorite little treats. Hand wash refill. Dish rags. Most importantly, beef sticks. Grass fed. More ghee, magic sponge cloth, and more treats. But what we want to do is see what these beef sticks are all about. Mmm. Mmm. I'm mad they only come with 12.